Hey guys, it is Monday, May 31st, and I have 38 eBay orders to ship out. Let's get to work. Today's Memorial Day, so I don't have to pack anything because the post office is closed, but I want to get a head start on it because tomorrow would just suck to have to pack everything at once. So I'm going to start it now, and after I'm done packing some stuff, taking the family to a Reds game today. Speaking of Memorial Day, as we remember those we've lost in military service, I know that there are a lot of people that watch my channel that serve in the military. So for everyone that has served and is currently serving, thank you so much for your service. First thing I'm shipping out today is one of these tackle bags. You guys have seen me sell a number of these. I got maybe like 30 or 40 in a bulk buy and they've been selling pretty well. This one sold for $17.99 free shipping. Next is a Funko Pop down here at E6. It is the RV Walker from The Walking Dead and that sold for $17.99 plus shipping. Sold something in E41, an old piece of paper ephemera. Should be in here, let me dig it out. Yeah, this right here. I got this and a lot of stuff from my guy Mike maybe like six months ago. This is a little pamphlet of airplane facts and it's from the 50s. Just a really cool piece. This sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Sold an original Game Boy right here in A32. Got this in a bulk buy last week. I've probably got $25, $30 into it, something like that. And it actually works. It seems rare that these work anymore. Came with Tetris and this sold for $69.99 free shipping. Next thing is a pair of men's Sperry shoes over here in C42. I got these at Goodwill, I think it's been two months ago, something like that. Paid $5 for them, they sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Next thing is a DVD series. Uh, let's see, up here on C2, let me move this Funko out of the way. It is Highlander Seasons 1 through 6. I got these at a garage sale two weeks ago. I paid $20 and I got all these and then a different Highlander DVD set too. And these sold for $69.99 free shipping. Sold another Funko Pop down here at E6. It is Jake from Adventure Time. That sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Next is an E31. It is Adobe Creative Suite Premium. This is definitely something to look out for, you guys. This is an older one, so it's not as valuable, but some of these I've sold for like close to $200. So keep an eye out for Adobe Creative Suite. I think CS5 is maybe like one of the more sought after ones. This one sold for $29.99 free shipping. Okay, next thing is on C4. It is these Jurassic Park stickers. I got a huge lot of these in that eBay store buyout, and I decided to do lots of two. So there's a red pack and a yellow pack, and this pair sold for $13.99 free shipping going out to a viewer named William. William, thanks so much for the support. It means a lot. Next thing's in D5. Just one little game in here all by itself. This is Legends of Zelda for NES with a sleeve, and that sold for $27.99 free shipping going out to a viewer named Eric. Eric says, hey John, I'm so happy you found the original Zelda. This will be one of the crown gems in my collection. I feel bad that I've watched you for years and never bought anything off of you. You've been such a huge inspiration to me and now I've been reselling on eBay for two years. That's awesome. I don't have a GoPro yet, but you inspired me to make my own channel, Gen Y Flipper, to show others what I buy and flip for a profit in Hamilton from yard sales, thrift stores, etc. Thanks again, Eric. Eric, thank you so much for the kind words, man. I wish you had nothing but the best of luck. Next order has two items. First thing is in F31. Let's run in here. It is a vintage Budweiser hat. Got the frog and the long tongue and everything. And they bought another item on H6. And I moved that stuff to the basement, so let's go down there. I got some racks to put down here. I just haven't built them yet, but I'm going to be keeping yearbooks, clothing, just some of the stuff that takes longer to sell. I'm going to be storing down here. Um, H6. It's probably this one or that one. And the hat that sold out of here is another Budweiser one. Let's see... Where is it? This one right here. The three frogs. Both of these sold to the same buyer for $37.98 plus shipping. Those are going out to your name, Jacob, who asked for some stickers in his notes. So, Jacob, thanks so much for the business, man. I'll definitely throw in some stickers for you. All right, while we're down here, I sold at least one more thing. So, let's move this out of the way. It is in G4. And it is... I don't think it's that Harley Polo. Wait, maybe it is the Harley Polo. Yeah, Harley Davidson... Um, Spell out polo that sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Sold one more piece up here in G2. It is a vintage Mickey Mouse gray long sleeve shirt. 
Um, that's a Snoopy vest. Here it is, Mickey Mouse. That sold to Lauren, and I took a best offer on that one for $17 plus shipping. Lauren, thank you for the support. I hope you like that shirt. All right, I guess I sold all kinds of stuff down here, so let's go back into H6. Yeah, I got to get these racks built to make this easier. I sold a vintage Honda hat. How cool is that? Vintage Honda trucker hat, snapback. Got this at a garage sale for like 50 cents. It's been a while. And it finally sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Next, let's walk over here. I'm keeping all my baseball bats and golf clubs down here. I sold these Mizuno irons. These are MP14 forged. It is three through pitching wedge. Had these listed for like 250 bucks and I sent an offer out for 190 plus shipping and someone accepted. Sold another piece out of here. This is something I sent an offer out on. This is a 1993 Elvis Week NASCAR shirt. Um, I sent an offer out for that one for $25 free shipping. Okay, I sold a Pendleton shirt, an H3, right over here. This is something I got maybe two, three months ago. Also something I sent out an offer for, uh, for $26 free shipping. Pendleton is a good name to look out for, guys. So if you find that stuff cheap, pick it up. All right, this like seems to never end down here. I sold another hat, again in H6. It is a Bass Fever. I think it's this one. Yeah, it's got a patch. Bass Fever, catch it. That's really cool. That one sold for $20 plus shipping. It's Tuesday morning. I have 20 eBay orders to ship out, and I'm kind of fighting off a sinus infection, guys, so I apologize. My voice sounds a little weird. Uh, first thing going out is not an eBay sale. This is something outside of eBay that I sold to a viewer. It is this Town by London Fog windbreaker set that i got at a garage sale a couple weekends ago for five dollars i sold it to brandon for 35 dollars free shipping brandon thanks so much for the support i really appreciate it okay we're pulling ebay orders now first thing is up here on c2 it is this oversized wampa funko pop bobblehead uh from star wars this sold for $19.99 plus shipping going up to a viewer named Jonathan. Jonathan, thanks for the business. I hope you like the Funko Pop. All right, we're shipping out some more Funko Pops. I think we're going to be shipping out quite a few today, actually. I sold a couple down here in B6. Let's see. I sold the... I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. The Twins from Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. Those sold for $19.99 plus shipping. And also in B6, I sold Lumiere. From Beauty and the Beast for $14.99 plus shipping. Sold a video game up here in D3. This is Zelda, the gold version, Majora's Mask. That sold for $49.99 free shipping. Coming up here to A3, I sold this Topps 2001 sealed complete set. I think I had this listed for about $140 or 150 I sent on a best offer for $95 plus shipping. This one's worth so much because it has Ichiro Suzuki's rookie card in it. And I got this from Pickle Resellers in a bulk buy. Um, so I've maybe got $30, $40 into it, something like that. Sold another Funko down here in B6. Matter of fact, I think I sold both of these. So I know I sold this Frisch's Big Boy. I'm going to go ahead and pull this one as well. The All Might Weekend from My Hero Academia. Let's see. If, uh, the Big Boy sold for $19.99 plus shipping. And the buyer for this one got another one. Let's see, they got this one up here. Hunter Hunter, number 654. Those two are going to the same buyer for $39.98 plus shipping. Sold a couple more video games over here in D3. Let's see, I sold Kirby 64, their Crystal Shards, and also Isolated Warrior for NES. Let me double check the prices on these. Got these in a recent bulk buy. This one sold for $64.99 free shipping, and that one sold for $36.99 free shipping. Okay, next thing is a little beanie hat over here in A31. This is a Spider USA Olympics 2002 hat. Got some cool flames and stuff. It's a ski team. I've had this for a long time. Um, it was in a bulk buy. Maybe got a dollar into it. I had it listed for like 15 or 20. Somebody offered me $12 plus shipping. Or I'm sorry, $12 free shipping and I accepted. Next thing is also something I've had for quite some time. Right down here, it is an old Baltimore Orioles patch. I got seven or eight old MLB patches from one sale. And I think I only had to pay like a dollar or two for each one. The other ones did a little better. They sold between like 15 and 20 each. This one finally sold for $9.99 free shipping. Shipping out another Funko Pop down here in E6. 
It is Magic the Gathering Liliana Vest. This was in that book by Funkos you guys saw me make. And this one sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Next we're going to C52. Sold another one of these Rick and Morty Portal, port, portal Light Key Ring. Portal Gun Key Ring Light. Wow, why is that so hard to say? That sold for $19.99 free shipping. Next thing's on D51. Um, it is a pack of Tops cards. Or I'm sorry, a whole box. This is also something I got from Danny from Pick Boy Resellers. That sold for $19.99 plus shipping. We're pulling another Funko Pop out of E6. It is Luke Skywalker, the Hoth edition. That sold for $19.99 plus shipping going out to your name, Christina. Christina, thank you so much for the support. Sold two more Funko Pops down here in E6. Let's see, there should be a Lloyd Christmas from Dumb and Dumber. This one right here. That sold for $14.99 plus shipping going out to viewer named Andrew. And Brick Tamlin from Anchorman. That sold for $24.99 plus shipping going out to viewer named Travis. Andrew and Travis, thanks for the support. I hope you guys like those Funko Pops. Sold another video game, Mega Man 4 for NES. Let's see, I think it's hiding right back here. Comes with a sleeve that sold for $44.99 free shipping. Sold a cassette tape over here on the F rack, so we're coming over to this bonus room. It is The Last Dragon. I got this in a bulk lot of cassette tapes maybe a month ago. This sold for $14.99 free shipping. All right, guys, last thing we're shipping out today is a diecast car up here in D21. This one right here, it's a Racing Champions Brickyard 400 that sold for $9.99 plus shipping. It's Wednesday morning, I have nine eBay orders to ship out, but first I'm gonna answer a couple of viewer questions. First question is from Jeffrey Koenig. Do you have a video where you show your camera setup? I keep trying to figure it out. I don't think I have a video like showing, you know, how I've got it rigged up, but it's basically just a little clip that goes onto the shoulder strap of my backpack. So I wear a backpack and then I mount the GoPro to this little clip and I didn't start doing that. I saw it on Justin RVA Flips channel. He started doing it like over two years ago, I want to say. And I started doing it and I've been doing it ever since. I really like it. And if you guys haven't seen Justin's channel, I'll put a link down below in the description. I think you'll really like it. Next is from Mark Junkersfeld. Viewer question, what is the largest profit you've made off of one item? How much did you pay for it and how much did it sell for? So there's two that come to mind. One is an old Fender amplifier I bought at an auction that I paid like $150 for it and sold for $1,300. That was an auction that I did on eBay that it sold for that much. It was from the 60s. And then the other one is this camera tripod that I got in a book buy that I might have had a hundred two hundred dollars into something like that and I sold just the head of it for like eleven hundred bucks. Time to ship out some items. First few things I pulled from the basement. This is a University of Minnesota polo. I've had this for a really long time. Somebody finally sent me an offer of $10 plus shipping and I accepted. Sold this TPX bat. I just listed this yesterday and it sold pretty quickly for $29.99 plus shipping. And lastly, I sold a yearbook. This is from 1972 Southside High School in Muncie, Indiana. That sold for $29.99 plus shipping. And I think I heard Brennan come in. What's up? What are you guys up to? We are going to go through some laser discs, guys. Yeah, Brennan bought 1,100 laser discs. Got 15 more bins to go through. Uh, each bin is like a garage sale. It's, it's fun. It's fun. Yeah. They're, it's a treasure hunt. So, uh, how many have you sold so far? One. <laughs> so, only uh, 1,099 more to go. You're yeah. getting there. How much did you pay for them? $1,100. So, so, you're in at about a buck a piece. Buck a piece. Awesome. Buck a piece. And uh, I've got about 80 of them set aside individually so far. Hopefully, we'll be around 300 or so, maybe. That'll be worth selling by themselves. And awesome. Bulk up the rest. Bulk up the rest, yep. Sweet. If you guys want to see Brandon's channel, it's called The Curious Picker. I'll put a link down below in the description. Next sale is a huge one. It's over here in D51. This is a Ben 10 Deluxe Omnitrix. It's a watch that I got at a garage sale, I think, like, four or five weeks ago. And it was brand new, so it was like two dollars. So I didn't even question. I just anytime I find new toys, I just buy them. And I didn't look it up or anything. And you guys were commenting like that thing is worth a ton, and you were right. I listed this for two hundred and fifty dollars, and I sent out an offer for one ninety five free shipping, and the watcher accepted. Next is a watch, an E thirty one. This is an offer that someone sent me. It's a women's watch. I thought it was a men's when I bought it, but it is a women's. It's pretty clean though. This sold for $15 plus shipping. 
Next, I'm pulling some video games over here in D5. All three of these in here sold. Sold Sky Shark, complete with the box for $14.99 plus shipping. And then the same buyer got Yoshi and Yoshi's Cookie, also complete with the boxes. These two sold for $69.98 plus shipping. Next thing that sold is this big oil filter for a cat. This thing is massive. I got this from my guy Mike maybe like six months ago. That sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Next is up here in C32. It is a lot of baseball cards. There's 20 of them all together. Um, they're all signed. And I auctioned these off maybe like a month or two ago and the buyer never paid, so I auctioned them off again, starting at a dollar and they sold for $53 plus shipping. All right, I actually sold something while I was packing orders, so I'm just gonna go ahead and ship this out. This is the Hound Funko Pop. I just got this last week in a bulk buy. So I maybe got 10 or $15 into it. That sold for $54.99 plus shipping. It's Thursday morning. I have seven eBay orders to ship out. And the first thing I went ahead and pulled from the basement, this is a DeMarini Voodoo High School Baseball Bat. That sold for $59.99 plus shipping. Next thing is in D42. It is something I got from that eBay store buyout. I guess it's been four or five months, something like that. I have, I think, six of these total. It is some kind of like keto like powder mixture for drinks i sold um i put them in pairs of two and uh, two sold for 24.99 free shipping next is two lots of football cards let's see i believe it's nfl 16 and nfl 17 should be these two right here these are a lot of autograph cards and i did an auction for these a couple months ago and the buyer never paid so i just ran them again Started each auction at a dollar. Same buyer won both of them for $99 plus shipping. Sold some more Jurassic Park stickers right over here. Let's see, we got a yellow one and a red one, and the pair sold for $13.99 free shipping. Next, I'm coming over to D31. I sold a diecast car. This is a Hot Wheels Mark Martin. I've had this maybe four or five months. I've only got a couple of dollars into that. It sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Next, I'm shipping out a couple of Funko Pops. One buyer got two. Let's see this one right here and this one right there. We got Grandpa Simpson and Ron with Baxter from the Anchorman movie. Same buyer got those two for $29.98 plus shipping, and I'll just combine them in the same box and refund them the difference in the shipping cost. And those Funko Pops are going out to viewer named Roberto. Roberto, thanks so much for the support. Last thing I'm shipping out is an A32. It is a video game case for Pokemon Coliseum. This is the case only. Made sure I put that in big, bold capital letters in the title and they're also in the description so that the buyer understood that there was no game. This sold for $34.99 free shipping. All right guys, before I end this video, I have a lot of viewer mail to open. The last two or three weeks I've been getting moved into this place and I've neglected all the mail you guys have sent me, so I'm so sorry it's taken me this long. I'm recording in my office, I think for the first time actually, and it's still a little bit messy in here, so I apologize, but I'm gonna start opening this stuff up. Okay, first is from Jim in Indiana. Hey John, short note to keep this first class, something for your office. Bummed I can't make the reseller rally. Thanks for everything, Jim. Oh, no way. Cincinnati Reds pitcher, that is awesome. Thank you, Jim. Next is from Jay in Indiana. John, Joe, and Jerry from the Adventures of Dad and Daughter here. I began selling on eBay way back when it first began. Work obligations quickly cut into my time to do eBay, so it fell by the wayside after about a year or so. I picked it back up about four years ago, and Jerry saw what I was doing and soon began selling on her own. We picked up a few things along the line and thought you would enjoy them. If you would like to keep them or for your collection, that is great. If you'd like to resell them, please feel free to do so. We have also included a sticker for our YouTube channel, The Adventures of Dad and Daughter, and if you could give us a shout out to our eBay stores, we would appreciate it. Jerry's is Rewind Finds, and mine is Doxy Dad's Treasures, and features photos of Peyton, my late Dotson, and Ellie Joe, my current Doxy. Thank you again, John, for everything you do to help other resellers, Joe and Jerry. So this is cool. This is an uncut sheet of cars, Cincinnati Reds, from 1983. And then we've got a Reds coaster, that is awesome. A pewter coaster, too. I'm definitely going to put that to use. There's their sticker. That's pretty slick. That'll definitely go on the workbench. And they also sent an old Cincinnati Reds Hewlett-Pulp beer can. That is awesome. Joe and Jerry, thanks so much. 
Next is from Brad in Tennessee. Hi, John. Love the YouTube channel and podcast. Here are just a few Reds items I had and wanted to pass along. Please talk Lonnie out of the devil's shoes. <laughs> Go Braves, Brad. Oh, wow. You got a Luke Weaver card. Joey Votto card. There's some other cards in there, too. That is cool looking. And then we've got... A Chuck Harmon Cincinnati Reds jersey. That is slick. Brad, thank you so much. Next is from the Phillips family in Dayton, Ohio. That's just like 30, 40 minutes north of me. Hey, John, thanks for the great YouTube content and all the stiff Thursday garage show competition with you since I am located up here in Dayton. We've been viewers of your channel since back in the six-pack reseller days. That goes way back. I also met you a couple years ago and got a mention in your video, I bought a human hand at a garage sale. I remember that video. So I thought I would send you a couple stickers of our resale business for your workbench. Our logo it was 100% designed and drawn by my beautiful and amazingly talented 12-year-old daughter, Kaylee. I don't have a channel yet, even though my wife has pushed for me to start one for years, but with all the other great YouTubers out there, I just hate to try and reinvent the wheel. Anyway, if you want to give our store a shout out, you can find us at Your Heart at Home on eBay, Instagram, Facebook, and our website, yourheartathome.com. I look forward to seeing everyone at the upcoming reseller rally. Thanks, Ken, Kim, and Kaylee. And here are the stickers, Your Heart at Home. These will definitely go on the workbench. Thanks, guys. Okay, next one is an international. I don't see a name. It's probably inside. It says United Kingdom. Hey, John, I've been following you online for quite a while now and love your content. Your YouTube videos and podcasts are entertaining and a great source of ideas and information. I've been selling for a few years now, but just designed my green Magpie Finds logo and branding and launched an official eBay store. If I'm not too late, would love it if you could find a spot in workbench for my sticker. All the best, Cy Green Magpie Finds. P.S. Good luck with the move. And there is the sticker. That is really cool. Thank you, Cy. Next is from Texas. John, I just want to say thank you for all the information you share about reselling. Thanks to your help and knowledge, I've been able to start an eBay shop and have created my own logo and sticker. My store is Renalet Resale. Hopefully my sticker can make the bench and I can see it in one of your videos. Thanks a ton, Tyler. And there is the sticker. Tyler, this is definitely going on the workbench. Thank you so much. Okay, next thing is from Mark in Missouri. Hi John, love your channel. I found this at a sale and thought you would like it. I know you're a big Reds fan. I'm a Cardinals fan. Looks like there is no love lost between the Reds and the Cardinals this year. Isn't that the truth? Who is your favorite all-time Red? I would say probably Chris Sabo. My favorite Cardinal is Bob Gibson. That's a good choice. Cheers, Mark. Oh, that is so cool. Big Pete Rose poster. Thank you, Mark. Okay, next is David in Louisville. And I know who this is. My good buddy, the Tesla Picker. I asked him for a sticker for my workbench, and he delivered. Here you go, brother. Hope all is well, Dave. There, it says logo. That says Kulu Socks logo, because he makes socks too. Dave, thanks so much, man. I've mentioned it before, but if you guys haven't seen Dave's channel, you gotta go check it out. It's the Tesla Picker. I'll put a link down below in the description. Okay, next is from Hawkeyes Finds in Michigan. Greetings from Michigan, John. Hope you and your family are well. Go Reds, go Bengals, go Buckeyes, go Tigers. Thank you for all your great tips and teachings in the reselling world. We appreciate it. The wife and I have sold on and off on eBay since the late 90s, but recently have ramped up to a more steady part-time journey because of all yours and many others' great help. Keep it coming. Enclosed is a sheet of My Little Pony stickers for your workbench. We know you will love them and put them right in the middle to enjoy them every day. Please make sure to know you and your wife are appreciated in the foster family world. Also, keep your heads up. Bumps in the road are expected, but not to let go, not to let it get you both down. The end game makes that journey much higher than any red tape or politics you have to overcome. Thanks for what you do. Take care and thanks again. Hawkeyes Finds and Hawkeyes Hunts, Richard and Loana. So if you guys missed it, I made a video last year on April Fool's Day that I was changing my channel to exclusively My Little Ponies. And that's where he got that inspiration for it. So that's pretty funny. Richard and Luana, guys, thanks so much. I really appreciate it. Okay, next is from Amber in Illinois. Hi, John. I wanted to send a note to say thank you. I've learned so much from you and other eBay YouTubers. I also follow Be The Village, and you and your wife are amazing people. I've enclosed a sticker for my eBay store, Aunt Am, am I saying that right? Aunt Ambie's Attic, right there. And I would be honored if it made it way to your workbench. Also, surprise Whitney and tell her you have dinner covered. Takeout's on me. The world needs people like you guys. Keep doing what you're doing, Amber. Amber, that is so nice of you. Thank you so much. Yes, I will definitely put this on my workbench, and Whitney will be thrilled that you are treating us to dinner. Thank you so much, Amber. Next is from the Commonwealth Picker. That's my buddy Kevin. I know a lot of you guys watch this channel, too. 
and Kevin sent a ton of stickers. Sorry I have so many stickers, I blame Reagan. Hopefully you find room for one. Thanks again for your generosity to many, Kevin. Here we go, we got a Commonwealth Flipper. <laughs> we got the Inaman mascot, we get things moving. Commonwealth Picker, and a couple other smaller ones too. Kevin, thanks for sending these. Okay, next one is from Piqua. Doesn't have a name, but I think I know who this is from. John, we appreciate everything you have done for us. I am thankful for the friendship we have from your friends at Piqua Resellers. P.S. I better hear I sold the hat 1,100 times, Danny. <laughs> so did you guys see the video? I uh, was in Piqua and bought that huge lot of hats from Danny. And I have sold quite a few of them already. And he sent some stickers as well. Danny, thank you so much, man. If you guys want to see Danny's channel, I'll put a link down below in the description. All right, next thing. It looks like it's international. I don't see a name. Hi John, love the videos and tips on packaging, etc. I do a small bit of reselling in the last year. I find it very social and fun as well as being profitable. Small thing with this letter that I can't seem to resell. I saw that you sell similar. I'd love for you to relist it yourself and sell it and have a beer on me. Best wishes, Kieran from Ireland. This was given to me by a cop visiting Ireland one time when I worked in a hotel. I think someone else would appreciate it more. Hope it sells for you. I'm sure it's worth $20, question mark. And there is the coin. It says, Boston Police Protecting Our Cities, April 21st, 2014. And then it says, Patrolman's Benevolent Association, PBA. That is a cool looking coin, Karen. Thank you so much for sending it. Okay, next is from Mike in Arizona. John, I wanted to send a little thank you gift for all the tips, bolos, and entertainment over the past couple of years. I really enjoy your channel and I'm always learning. The Guys Without Jobs podcast is one of my weekly favorites. I love this style of content. Please keep them coming. I've been a full-time eBay reseller for over a decade and I'm doing well, but started YouTube a bit over a year ago and wow, it is a grind. I really enjoy it and the steady growth is encouraging. The YouTube reseller community is incredible and I'm thankful to be a part of it. Thanks for being one of the leaders of that group. Inside the package is a custom jigsaw puzzle featuring many YouTube resellers. How cool is that? Hope you like it and have fun putting it together. I changed my logo just after I got these puzzles made. Thanks, stickers enclosed, Mike, AKA that reseller guy. Here is the puzzle and he's got an image of it on the front. That is amazing. Wow, that is really cool, Mike. And here are his stickers. I'll definitely put those on the workbench. Mike, thanks so much. Next is from Cassandra in Illinois. Dear John, hello, I hope all is well with your family. I love your channel and it has helped me so much in growing my business. I thought I would contribute to your sticker table as I just got these in. This is my first promo item for my store, so I hope it's helpful. By the way, I hope you don't mind the address label with my face on it. I'm also a part-time actress and use them for my professional mailings as well. Hope garage sale season brings you a lot of treasures. Happy picking, Cassandra. In her eBay store is Isn't It Neat Flips. And there's her sticker. Thank you, Cassandra. I'll put it on my workbench. Okay, next is from Alan in Ohio. Hi, John. Thanks for all the great videos, and it has been really cool meeting you in person. Best of luck with the new location and much continued success. I saw the circa 1950s Reds button and thought you might enjoy it. I also included a sticker for my website, old.inc. I am doing a weekly live sale of ephemera and small collectibles. Best wishes, Al. Oh, that is so cool. There is the little pin, Red Legs Booster. That is awesome. And then there are the stickers, old.ink. Thank you, Al. Next thing is from Pittsburgh. I don't see a name on it, though. Thank you for all the great content on YouTube. We've been selling vintage items mainly on Instagram and eBay for a little over a year now, and your videos have been a huge help. Hope these stickers find their way to your shipping table. Thank you from Bridge City Books and Vintage. This is a really cool logo. Look at that logo, guys. I'm definitely sticking these on the workbench. Thank you so much, guys. Next is from Dominique in North Carolina. Dear John, my name is Dominique and I'm a part-time reseller. Tried eBay, didn't care for it. Still love your content though. Hoping you can add my sticker to your workbench. Thanks, Dominique. Dominique Endeavors. I'll definitely put that on the workbench. Thanks for sending it. Next is from Jesse in Texas. Hey John, hope all is well with you and your family. Thank you for your constant positive YouTube videos. As a part-time reseller, I find them very encouraging and informative. Sending you a sticker for your table and a drink coaster. I have a YouTube channel, but no content yet. I also have a web address tied to my eBay store to make it easier to find my store if you could give it a shout out. WestTexasPicker.com 
Thank you so much. Best wishes, Jesse. Jesse, this is an awesome logo. I love that. Thank you so much. Next up is from Taco Stacks out in Pennsylvania. I'm sure you guys have heard about his channel. Hey man, the bench is looking great. Didn't know if you have space for another decal. Hope all is well. He has such a cool logo. Look at that. You got the mountains and there's his truck like going right up them. He also sent a Tom Hall Reds card. I'll definitely put this on the workbench. Thanks so much for sending it, dude. And if you guys don't know Taco Stacks, he has a killer YouTube channel. The dude just does amazing with what he does, not only on his channel, but with reselling too. So I'll put a link down below in the description for that. Next is from Pennsylvania. I don't see a name on here though. Hey CP, love your YouTube channel and wanted to send along one of our stickers for your cool table. We love our Escape from Alcatraz laser disc and displayed proudly in our eBay room. I remember that. Keep on picking Adam. And there is our logo, Pittsburgh Picker. Thanks, Adam. Next is from Jay Rice in Florida. Hey, John, just wanted to let you know that I love your channel. I've been watching your videos for quite some time, and I love all your content. I've learned so much from watching your videos, and your garage show videos are my favorite. Also, I grew up in Cincinnati. I have fond memories of going to Reds games with my dad as a kid, and your channel makes me feel at home. I live in Florida now, but Cincinnati will always hold a special place in my heart. Go Reds, Justin. Justin sent some Reds cards and this... Coach Commerce sticker. Thank you, Justin. All right, last but not least is from Jeff. John, thanks for letting me send this to you. I'm in the big fan of your channel group and I wanted to support your channel. Included are these blank set packs that I think will sell well for you. I've also included a bag of seashells. So don't worry if there's a lot of broken shells. I've sent them that way as I thought your new fosters that y'all could sit down as a family and look through the shell pack for micro seashells. That is really cool. I've included a tiny glass vial inside the dog tree container to which you can place all the micro shells you find. There are also complete full shells as well. Scan the QR code below to get directed to a YouTube video that explains what to look for in your shell hunting pack. That is so awesome. I have a YouTube channel called San Marcus and it's primarily about seashell hunting at Orange Beach, Alabama. I noticed you mentioned a while back there weren't many places to vacation and would encourage you all to visit a small beach town which is getting popular and is only four hours away from Lonnie at Shed Flips. I'm giving away a beach vacation on my channel once I hit 10,000 subscribers. Hope this package finds you well and thanks again for the deal on those hats you shipped me. I'm a full-time family beach photographer and I'm always wearing hats to grab my clients' attention. All the best, Jeff. And here's what Jeff sent. So here's all the shells. That's the container he was talking about, and there's tons and tons of blank cassettes. Jeff, this is amazing. Thank you so much. Guys, thank you so much for all the mail. I'm seriously overwhelmed at your generosity. I really appreciate it. And that is it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.